Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure and this is Train Fever. Obviously enough, I am stood outside Haxby because it is the site of just about every glorious passing shot of trains you could possibly imagine. And therefore, for my glamorous passing shot openings, there, there is nothing fine. I mean, look at all this stuff going on here. I, it's just, just magical. Uh, yeah, you, you like a bit of train, you've come to the right place. Uh, so, uh, in the last episode I completed Crossrail, uh, which is not the uh, incredibly expensive London-based uh, commuter route. No, it's uh, it's the, the final corner to corner, right? So we've got, uh, here we go, here's a quick, quick mental test. Masham heads to Bridport, and then Kids Grove goes out to Marlow, and then Lost With You heads out to Poole. Now, all of those are now set up, and they're running. Um, they're making me a little bit of cash, but cash is not something I'm short of. Uh, meanwhile, Haxby has got a circular, uh, an external route running around the outside. Look, and someone wants to use it. Just one, but, you know, I claim that as a victory. Uh, as the town expands, hopefully, we'll get uh, we'll get a little bit more interest, but we'll see. Uh, Masham, how are we doing over here? Again, we've got one waiting over there. Anybody waiting down here? There you go, four waiting for the clockwise. Ah, marvellous. I mean, maybe these make money, maybe they don't. But we're, you know, we'll we'll wait and see. So those are the two circulars I've got set up already. Uh, I need to do some more. But today, I'm going to take a slight break from the norm. Um, because in an older video, uh, someone asked if I could possibly do a, a quick tutorial. And you're going to like this, regulars. Uh, a quick tutorial on signalling. So here we go. It's a signal tutorial. Uh, right, okay, so in order to uh, to pull this off without interfering with the main game, I'm going to set up a fake railroad over here. Unless, what have we got? We've got some coal up there. Because I see this, I mean, I, admittedly, this would be completely redundant, so I'm not going to do it. Not going to do it. We're going to we're gonna fake the whole thing. Um, I am going to spend money on this as well, because I want to... I wanna, I want a good tutorial out of the other end of it. So let's, uh, here we go. Right, so the idea behind what I'm going to do today is just to give you uh, a couple of, uh, of fundamentals with regards to uh, uh, running uh, multiple trains down a, uh, down a track. Uh, you see, this would be a really great place, but there's a flipping steel mill in the way. Let's, let's stick it down there. Is that going to give me enough space? That's going to give me enough space to cause some trouble. Okay, right, and then we'll get some track up. Okay, now, one of the unusual things that I do, uh, that people tell me that, that it's not a real thing, uh, and I don't care that it's not a real thing, it's a thing that I do because of the way that I frame it in my head, uh, and that is the release signal. Uh, so I'm going to cover exactly what I mean by that, and at the moment I'm, I'm just talking a little out of context in order to... Uh, there you go. Bang a bit of road on there. I d just just to uh, fill in the time while I uh, delicately set up the uh, the 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 setup. There we go. That'll do. Right. Okay. Now let's uh, hang on. Hang on. Look. Just because we're doing something temporary doesn't mean we can't do it uh, with a certain degree of, of grace and flair. Let's let's just bang all kinds of random. There you go, that'll do it. That that will do nicely. Okay, now we'll stick that on here. And then we'll double track some more up here. And I'm gonna I'm gonna run a lot of trains down here, you better believe it. Um but the the goal is to uh, to use the, the cheapy trains. Actually that's the one good thing about these cheapy trains. As much as they have afforded me a certain level of luxury uh in uh, in generating a profit, uh Equally, uh, I, let's do one more station. Let's do one more. Uh, yeah, equally, I prefer to have to uh, to face the challenge manfully uh, in a way that uh, that you know doesn't throw me an underarm by having trains that are not priced correctly. Uh, that said, there may be an update to the to the mod available, and I just haven't got it yet. What do we think? We could we could put it here. I'm just going to need a junction on afterwards. Well, I've been playing. Oh, yeah, you can tell. You can tell I've been sinking time into uh, into uh, A train recently uh, because 
track building in that is a complete headache by comparison to it. Mr. Fever. Right, okay, good. We're in business. So, uh, what are signals for? Well, okay, that's pretty straightforward. They are to control the uh, the flow of uh, the flow of traffic. Um, to make sure, if you get your signalling right, it will uh, it will ensure that uh, you don't have. Let's put four carriages on there. Yeah, I should do it. Uh, clone, clone. Right. Uh, yeah, to in, to ensure that your 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 track can keep moving. Now, if I set up a, a Swifty line here uh, of the Press new line button. Uh, what's going on there? That's a dead route, that one. Uh, as is this one. Are these my road routes? I killed off all the remaining road routes last time around, apart from this one running outside uh, Kids Grove. Yeah, there you go. Anyway, back back on with the plan. Stop getting distracted, you fool. Uh, let's start with this one. So we'll go Lost Withiel West out to Lower Bridport. Okay. Right, and we'll set you. This is line one, so you go on to line one, please. Right, so far, no signals at all. Let's get this uh, hustling along, shall we? Right, and, uh, I mean, signaling most often comes into its own when you're running more than, uh, more than a handful of trains along a, a, a similar uh, part of the track. Um... It doesn't, not necessarily the same bit of track, but uh, any time one bit of track crosses another, you're going to want some signals in there, right? Now, that's not going to make any money, but it's going to quite happily bounce between these two stations with not a care in the world. However, if we now set up another new line, uh, should we do another one? Yeah, I think we'll do three, and, and we'll see if we can make this work. This, <laughs> ah, this is going to be exciting. Um, right, so we'll go from North Withiel West here out to wherever the heck that is, Bridport Annex, uh, and that's line three. No, yes, line three. There you go. Right, let's get you running. Now, this is going to come unstuck pretty quickly. Uh, our merry warrior here is, uh, you know, he's zipping along. Now... The trains do have a certain amount of, of nous, a certain amount of logic themselves with regards to actually uh, being able to get to where they want to go. There you go. So they will understand that the track is clear if you've got no signals at all, but it's not an effective way to do things. Right, let's get the last one set up. And this one, we want to go from out from Bridport to Lost With Your West, out to Bridport Annex back to west and there we go all right a nice little a nice little three station set up now the lazy way to do things is very much the way that i've got my my good system running at the moment which is uh that basically each uh route has its own dedicated piece of track nice work if you can afford it if you can't afford it however it will uh it will cost you a pretty penny. Right, okay, here we go. Good, this is what I was hoping to see. This guy has become stuck. He's waiting for a free path. Let's uh, ease the tempo down here. And I imagine he's not the only one. All right, what are you doing? Waiting for a free path. Oh, no. And down here, as if by magic, waiting for a free path. They don't know how to get to where they want to go, which is... Ah, well, I, I, sh I should imagine that's the case, because they all want to use the same bit of track. Now, there is room here for everything to get across, uh, but it's not, uh, not going to happen. In fact, I've made this particularly challenging. Okay, right, so first thing I will do. Now, given, him, uh, given that trains in this game wish to travel on the right, we will set our first signal here. Right, and what this signal will do is it will hold a train in that position. What have we got going on here? Some more wagons. Okay, right, I'll get to those in a bit. Right, now that in itself has made absolutely no difference. I What I need to do is I need to tweak my routes. And I don't mean that I'm just in need of uh, a, a hair restyling. Uh, where are we? Line one, two, three, please. There we go. All right, let's, uh, actually, let's pull these up. There we go. And then let's give them colours that I can see, because I'm old and old. Don't close the line off, you pillock. 
Let's get it back up again. Line two, please. Thank you. Good. Right. Now, the, the, the habit is, is constantly there to, to kill off a line that is uh, misbehaving. Right, so we've got this kind of uh, turquoisey cyan kind of a deal and yellow, and we've got pink. Which some may decide is magenta. Uh, right, okay, so first things first. Anyone travelling from Lost with or West, hello there, uh, he's going to Bridport, so it doesn't affect you, to Bridport Annex, which is down here. I'm going to add in another station. Now, some people uh, who are fond of commenting will tell you, well, just use one-way signals and, uh, and that problem resolves itself. But I'd, I like to use regular signals for this. Okay, so, still no movement. Because we're trying to use this bit of passing track here. And what will probably resolve this, I have set this up in quite a challenging way, is if we put a signal here as well, like that, you'll see that the purple, uh, the, the pink chap has immediately detected what I'm trying to get them to do. And if I've got this right, there we go, we've got movement. So we're edging along up here, because he's sensing that this track is soon going to be uh, vacated. Meanwhile, these two are going to uh, quite happily go through these signals. Now, in itself, all I've done here is a clever bit of routing. Um, but uh, more importantly, I've, I've been able to, to get the trains moving again. And this is almost, almost enough to run this service uh, consistently. In fact, I'm not going to be able to run this system, service consistently. I need a passing track up to, uh, up to Bridport. Now, when you're when you're doing signalling yourself, you're never going to run into something as as ridiculously convoluted as this. Uh, if you are, I suggest build a little bit more track. Uh, you know, splash out and have yourself a, a double station at some point. So I'm going to do the same thing on this bit of passing track as well. And put one in there, and then we'll stick another one just before the points. Now, the critical thing that the 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 bit I get wrong on a regular basis. Uh, despite the fact I'm right, uh, but it's not best practice, is you. the point of your signal is nothing should ever block a set of points, any set of points. Your points are there for a reason. Um, and to, to make this more international, this here is a set of points, right? You could call it a split, you can call it um, a switch, you can call it a, a whatever you like. For the sake of, uh, of clarity, I'm going to refer to these as points, because that's what we call them in the UK. Um, if you block a set of points, you are potentially using your signal to stop traffic moving through, rather than, uh, rather than helping it clear through. Uh, and, and in doing so, you know, you should be justly castigated. Uh, right, okay, good. So, we're now, uh, we're now in business. Now, at this point, there aren't many places I can continue to put uh, signals because I've got backing services. Backing services are a drag. Uh, where could we do it? We could do it like this. I wonder if these trains are short enough for this to work. So if I were to put a signal here, there's a vehicle in the way. There we go, we'll put one there, and that's made that one way interesting oh and then it's decided to come back out the other way that's right yes good in which case we shall put one more here where are we right about there okay now what we've got is uh we've effectively made these one-way sections of track so everything heading in to uh wherever we are here lost with your west will come in on the left as we look at now and everything heading out will uh, will head on the right hand side this is an improvement. There we go. Right, so we should be at the point now where everything just keeps rolling. Uh, now, we want to stick up a couple more signals here just to ease things up. No, 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 I'll show you why I would. So, me being me, I would like to put a signal here. Right. Uh, I'd also like another one probably about here, just before this diamond junction. And the reason for doing that is uh, over, a, over a longer stretch, 
you don't want your trains ever to stop if you can avoid it, right? So if they're if they're travelling between two stations, you don't what the, what you really don't want is them them stopping. Uh, let's uh, see how this works. Look at that. See, signal raises to say that the uh, the the next bit of track is clear. All right. Okay. Let's uh, let's up the challenge, shall we? Right. Buy, buy me some more train. Uh, where's my my hundred quid train? Right. Let's have three of those. In fact, I didn't want just three of those, did I? Let's get rid of a couple of them. I can afford it. Oh, a new tank wagon. Ooh, that's that's going to be fun. I, I almost want to get back to the main thrust of the game. Three, four. All right. Give me three. Right. You on line one. I have a strong suspicion this will clog it. But hey, let's go. So basically, I am now putting two trains on each of those services. That's going to be pretty busy for this tiddly section of track, but I'm pretty sure I've got enough holding places for this to work. All right, what are you waiting for? You know, you're you're fine. And as soon as you clear through, uh, you might be waiting for stuff coming out of the depot, I guess, uh, which I could resolve with a signal here if I've got the time. No. Nope. No chance, missed it. Okay, right, well, this chap's just going to wait until all of these trains have come out. Now, because I've got all of these little parking places set up, everyone can wait. So, are you going to halt here? I think you are, because there's nowhere for you to go. Ah, this is what I was talking about. Uh, right, so, what I would, what would be useful to me here would be another set of signals here. Right, now, it might not be uh, valuable right now. We'll see. No, see, because this chap's coming out in the opposite direction. Now, if I were to stick a signal on there as well, it gives them more places to wait. Basically, think of each section between two signals as a block, uh, where in each block you should only ever have one train. Um, and uh, otherwise your signaling is not working. There we go. Hey, we're moving. Everything's moving. So the more blocks you have, the more trains you can put on a section of track. So, uh, for example, from here out to that one is one block of track. Uh, equally, from here to that one is one block of track. So those three signals have made me one block right there. And that's why I might be tempted to put in a release signal. If uh, no, I'll show you that separately. I'll show you that in a moment. There you go. See, look, he's he's now waiting for this. I'm I'm pretty sure this will snarl up. But as long as each train can get, let's up the tempo some. As long as each train can get in and out. So as that train moved through the signal at the front, this train moved up from this one to the next one, which means that I've still got space for another train in behind here like that. Now, I, you know, I'm trying to push too much stuff down a, a very narrow section of track, and uh, and as a result, it is going to get a little bit uh, congested. But I do believe I've built it in such a way that it can't get broken. Go me, and uh, in your face, all of you signal doubters. Um, there we go. Yep. Plenty of waiting going on, but nothing is broken. Right, if we, uh, should we close these up? Let's close these up so we can just watch trains without colours. So there we go. Uh, you know, it, it's it's not that complicated. The, where I would get it wrong, okay? The, the easiest thing I could do to get this wrong would be to put a signal here. Because by putting a signal here, I create another block. And let's, uh, I, I, I mean, I could just do it, but I mean, you know, I don't think anybody's going to be mistaken. Basically, if were a signal to suddenly appear here, it would be possible for a train to wait in this section. In fact, I'll pause it to show a train waiting in that section when the next one comes in. Please hold. Oh yeah, good, good view of the smoke there. Oh, magical. Right, and pause, right. So let's pretend he's uh, he's held at a signal right here, okay? Well, 
because he's waiting, and the reason he'd be waiting is if there was a train in the station, he'd be waiting for that train to get out of the station, and of course the train can't get out of the station. Uh, but by waiting here, he's blocked these points, which is the escape route. Uh, and with the escape route blocked, ain't nothing moving. And very quickly, you, uh, you end up in a situation where nothing is moving in the slightest. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the, uh, the, the slightly unusual thing that I do. Let's uh, kill all of this lot. Everybody, depot time. Now this is, this, is gonna, this is more than likely going to make a bit of a mess. Although as each train enters the depot, another one should be able to move. There you go. This is the, <laughs> quite fairly dramatic stuff here. All trains to the depot right now. And, uh, I'm sending them to the depot purely because I want to build a better track. There we go. There we go. Right, anybody else? What's that? Two more? Three more? Two more. Okay, right. Well, while you're doing that, I shall build a bit of track for the next demonstration. Uh, right, let's... Uh, keep this simple okay now uh, on occasion now I refer to things uh, in my series as release signal on a regular basis uh, and uh, and people go there's no such thing as a release signal and uh, to be true uh, in any railway rail railway rail manual you come across you're not going to hear anybody talking about a release signal but you do hear about it here um, and I'll show you what I mean. Now, most frequently, I will I will set up a in inverted commas release uh, at a uh, at a station. Uh, and what I mean by that is basically it's a signal that I put in in order to allow uh, trains to move forward. Uh, I'll show you. I'll show you. Okay. Right. Okay. So we got up here. And then we want to set up a quickie, a quick cheap route here. There we go. I want those from here. Thank you. Yeah, it's rather more, rather more zoomed out than I intended. Okay, good. And now because I've got signals on there already, it's it's picked up the route. Uh, now, if as uh, my no 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 stop that. Do this. And then. Now this is, I mean, this is a far less complicated route. This is a route that you're actually more likely to use. Uh, set line all onto line four, please. There we go. Okay, so we've still got, you know, single platform at both ends. Uh, but now we've got a whacking great section of, uh, uh, of track for them to, you know, double track rather, to, uh, to zip up and down. Let's kill off a few of these in the hope that the route remembers the uh, the correct side of the track to, to proceed on. Hold on. Let's call it up and just make sure. Why are you waiting for a free path? Is there anybody else on there? There is. <gasps> New trucks. Exciting. Despite the fact I'm not really using trucks. All right, good. Okay, so we've got stuff in motion. Now, as you can see, uh, this chap is is waiting for a free path, no less. You kind of go, well, how is that even possible? Look, there's tons of free path. And it's because there's a train in that block. So I will put a release signal and a good one for here. See this guy waiting? If I were to put a signal here, it basically releases this train from that signal up to the next one. And then we'll do the same again. So a way to get the spacing right is to run one train ahead. And obviously, because we've got more stuff coming up, they will all shuffle up to the next set of, uh, of signals in quite a happy fashion. So basically, a release signal for me is it's the end of a signal block. There we go. Yeah, C, Ace. And most frequently, what I'll do is I'll stick one just before the station and one immediately after. Now, this is the one that people object to. That one right there. All right, that's and the reason I put it here is so that uh, it releases this train as quickly as possible. 
So I want this to go through, but you know, hey, see, and, and in doing so, I break the cardinal rule. Uh, you know, I've got a signal right here that will block these points, not allowing anything to pass through into the station itself. Like that. Oh, only briefly, but like that. Uh, now, maybe if I delete the next signal, we can we can get a. Uh, uh, the next signal is actually actually a fair shake off. Look, I want to show you blocking the track in that way that you shouldn't. There, right? See? There. Blocked. Nothing moving there. But then nothing would move anyway because that block would still be occupied. So what I will frequently do if I use a release signal in this way that will block the points, I don't mind it blocking the points if nothing was going to go through it anyway, is I'll put another signal in, at which point this one shows ready to rock. And the second the train passes through it, it lets the next one through. Okay, that's that's pretty pretty much it. But you know, again, if I were to put one here, uh, put a set of, sig set of signals on here somewhere, that would just create disaster. You can't allow, uh, a, particularly in a track like this one where they go up and down this uh, this single uh, single stretch of track here, they go in both directions on there. Be very careful with your signaling when you do such a thing um, because you're going to create a scenario whereby two trains can be facing head to head and nobody's going anywhere there we go anyway uh, that will just about wrap it up that's the basics as far as signals are concerned and the way to think about it uh, if I were to summarize it, I mean you already know by now um, but think in, section, in terms of blocks Right, so here's one block right here. The, from this chap there to this one here is one block. No one may enter that block until that block is empty. Right, so when he gets to this one, he's going, no, next block's occupied at present. And we'll know in a moment that it isn't. Wait for it. There we go. Next block has space means we can clear this block into the next one and that's how it works now the more blocks you have the more trains you have you have one more train than you have blocks you're not moving if you have more blocks than you have trains you will be able to run all day long skipping and jolly and happy anyway there you go uh hopefully this has been somewhat useful uh even if it is in explaining my own twisted rationale as to why i will occasionally block points uh, and it's it's just to allow something to clear another block quickly when it wouldn't make any difference because if I was in fact, let's prove it Let's prove this thing out here Right if I can I want to delete these give me this and Kill it. There we go, right So here we go. So now all three of these are in the same block. And you go, oh, well, hmm, uh, interesting. And you're going to go, yes, hmm, interesting, exactly. And it's only the train's logic and the, the perceived clearance there that allowed that signal to change. Because it's breaking the rule here. There are two trains in this block. No, 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 you can't do that. That's naughty. So that's why I put a we'll put a signal on there because you will get trains suspended, trains waiting, uh, regardless of whether that signal is present or not, and therefore it is in my interest in order to make the the clearance point as early as possible. Anyway, thank you very much for watching today. If it's been useful, chuck a thumbs up. Uh, if it hasn't been useful, leave me a comment. Tell me why I'm wrong. Uh, subscribe, please, if you've not done so already. And next time around, I will be back on topic. We will we will get back to the main thrust of things. And I'll uh, I admit that uh, that we've moved forward by like three years in this one. So uh, so I will back it up to where I loaded from today. Thank you very much for watching. I will catch up with you very soon. Cheerio. This, 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 this.